Recently, Scarlett Johansson and Rupert Friend were seen in New York City filming scenes for Jurassic World Rebirth, the seventh film in the Jurassic Park franchise that is promising to both come out next year and also moving pretty far away from Jurassic World Dominion, the last sequel from 2022 that wasn't received too well. Now, what's really interesting about this new footage that's come out from the set in New York is the introduction of an idea that fans are clocking as being a little too similar to an idea left over from Michael Crichton's second Jurassic Park novel. The Lost World. And there's also a certain interview that's promising a pretty wild twist for this new movie. What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Now look, when it comes to the footage that's been coming out from New York, a lot of people were actually surprised to hear about this even happening because just a few weeks ago, they told us that they had wrapped filming completely. But now it's plainly obvious that for reshoots or whatever other kind of reason, Gareth Edwards has made his way back out to New York in order to shoot this new scene. Zora Bennett, Scarlett Johansson's character, is seen wearing similar clothes to what she did in the museum scene with the dinosaur skeletons that we talked about a while back the channel, only this time she's with the character Martin Krebs looking on at, get this, a literal team of guys in hazmat suits spraying down a closed off area with an animal rescue logo depicting a pteranodon and velociraptor. <laughs> Now look, I don't want to jump to any conclusions, but with the plot of this movie already stating that a pharmaceutical company is trying to get DNA samples from the three largest creatures on land, sea, and air in order to develop a miracle drug for the human race, look, this is leading a lot of people to speculate on whether or not Jurassic World Rebirth is going to adapt the DX disease from Michael Crichton's Lost World novel. That large, closed-off area could be where a dinosaur either died died or was killed, and the government has sent these people in to try and stop any outbreaks or disease from hitting the civilian population. That could be why they're spraying everything down. And Martin Krebs may be trying to recruit Bennett in order to assemble the expedition to acquire that miracle drug. That's just a theory though, and not something that I think is legitimately fact just yet. One other thing I want to throw in here about Disease X is that this thing is supposed to kill off literally all the dinosaurs on Isla Sorna, and there was a fear of it jumping jumping over into humans in the second Jurassic Park novel, The Lost World. So if that's what they're doing here for the new movie since they didn't do it back in the 90s, I am 100% down for it because that is the most Jurassic Park sounding idea that we've had since The Lost World. But anyways, moving on from there, we've got some new info coming out alongside this footage and that happens to be Manuel Garcia Rulfo talking about the movie in a pretty interesting way. Quote, we were all over the world and it was a very nice project. It's a film I'm proud of, and it was really fun. They're taking up the franchise again and giving it a new twist. So look, that's kind of a pretty cool little bit of news from the interview. Now, I'm not sure if he's actually seen an early cut of the movie or something. I mean, he's definitely seen footage, but the fact that he's saying it was really fun to make and that he's proud of it is a good sign because the twist he's talking about may be something that is in line with what we heard about from the filmmakers trying to both distance themselves from the last trilogy and make things more old school and cool again. You know, we have heard that there is supposed to be some sort of massive cover-up from decades past that they find out about in this new Jurassic Park film. So all in all, this is sounding more serious at the very least. I also want to bring something up about the new footage from New York, by the way. This is more than likely going to be a scene that takes place early on in the film alongside that museum footage. I'm going to assume that it's tying into the idea of the dinosaurs not doing so well and dying off before we see them flourishing around the equator where the actual action and plot takes place. You know guys, I will say that whatever is really going on with all of those other rumors, you know, the new island, some kind of Spinosaurus rumor, and the wild experiments from engines past, all of that stuff sounds like David Kep and the others are taking ideas from Jurassic Park's past that are both super old, predating nearly everything from Jurassic World, and they're also going in a direction that sounds way more Crichton inspired. Of course, we won't know for certain until the movie comes out next year, but it all does sound rather promising. Where's the wreck? Is it still behind us? 
Now, with that being said, guys, there's also Jurassic Park Survival that's supposed to come out in 2025, and there's also Jurassic World Evolution 3. Whether or not they hit those release dates, if that's actually true, and, you know, they come out maybe in 2026, they're definitely pushing this whole franchise in a very different direction. I will also bring up the fact that I don't really know for certain if DX is going to be in this movie, but they are spraying down for some sort of disease, so what's that about? If it's not DX, what could they possibly be doing here, and what is the this twist that they've got going on at the end of the film. If David Kep is really taking us in a direction that's going to redeem Jurassic Park and be a literal rebirth for the franchise, I mean, this could be big, and I do think that they could be going in a direction that's going to be really, really fun. Speaking of this whole theory on DX being in the movie, if you haven't read the Lost World novel, it's wildly different from the Spielberg film. DX is something that all of the dinosaurs had ingested, and due to it being a prion disease, similar to something like Mad Cow, the animals would infect each other all over the island and eventually die off. It starts with the compies, moves on to stuff like raptors, and then if any other animal gets like a dead triceratops or creature, it spreads like wildfire. Now, this was actually a crucial part of the story, and I believe Michael Crichton even went on to say that one of the central themes of The Lost World was extinction. But when you compare all of those things to the 1997 sequel, we don't really see much of that at all in the movie. And you guys know, I love that film, but it's just simply not there. And I think since David Kep had already begun working on the drafts for Jurassic Park 2 with Spielberg before Michael Crichton's book ever even came out, the ideas just never made it into the film adaptation, which is why I really do think that what we're seeing here could be the filmmakers going way back into the archives and genuinely looking at what they have available to mine, even if it doesn't end up being DX. You know, it's a similar idea. When it comes to the law Lost World Jurassic Park, there was a ton of stuff they wanted to do that got left behind in the writing room. There's something called the Super Raptor, there's the hiddenness of Isla Sorna being something that even Peter Ludlow was unaware about, and tons of information on action sequences that were unmade that just sound incredible. In the future, I'll dive into some other theories about what Jurassic World Rebirth might end up being with all of these things in play. Island, Spino Rumors, the DX disease, not to mention all the prequel talk we heard about months ago. But what do you think, guys? What are your thoughts and opinions on this New York footage? And what do you think about Manuel Garcia Rulfo saying that it's got a pretty cool twist? All in all, sounds pretty interesting to me, but again, I do think we need some more information before really knowing what we're dealing with here. But hey, whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear all about them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I want to thank everyone that's helped me build my channel over the years. I'd also like to thank every one of you guys who've watched my stuff. You've all been extremely cool to me. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and hope that you'll consider subscribing. God bless you all. Christ is King. See you guys in the next video. And as always, take it easy.